Hello, my name is Citizen001, and I'm here to show you how to use the Pack 40 anti-tank guns on my map, GM Ordnance. So, let's get started. This is it. Four of them in the map, all lined up. And here is our firing range. Anyways, let's get to the less obvious. We'll start with this, right here on the side. This little lever is the, called the safe and fire lever, and this is essentially the safety of this gun. And if you don't know what that is, it just pretty much makes it safe, so it can't fire or really do anything at all when it's set to save, which is right here, indicated by the little S. And now it's on the firing position, which is designated by the F. And so, right now it starts by default on fire, because I assume most people just want to get straight to firing instead of hassling with that. So anyways, it starts on fire. Most of the time you won't have to worry about this. Uh, it's not really serving any real purpose in, you know, being a video game, because it doesn't really matter if you shoot anyone with it, but it's there just pretty much to be as historically accurate as possible. I just wanted to try and capture all the actual functionality of the, the real thing. So, anyways, beyond that, this, this little black lever up here on top is the breech lever. You can just hit E on that first. That'll open up the breech block. And the breech block is this this big metal piece right here, which covers up the open barrel while not in use or after already loaded. So I suppose we'll start off with picking our am ammunition now. And we'll go with the more exciting high explosive. It's indicated on the little back of the shell here, the writing. And here's the armor piercing over here. We won't worry about that right now. It's pretty easy to tell them apart. High explosive has the green, more rounded end on it, and the armor piercing is pretty sharp looking and pretty much just black and with a white tip. So we'll take this. I know this can be kind of annoying loading it like this, but hopefully, if Source likes to cooperate for you, it shouldn't give you any problems. If it does get stuck while you're trying to loading it, load it, then, uh, I would suggest uh, if you actually have, like, depending on how the server works with the rights or whatever, like where you can mess with world props or whatnot, uh, just delete it. Or if you can't do that, then just continually kind of hit E on it to grab it in a position away from where it's getting stuck on. Or kind of just hit these randomly, these little pitch and yaw controls and it should free up. I don't think I've ever had a position where I just couldn't get it free. Uh, I mean, just jiggle the handle. Anyways, so now that we have it loaded, as you saw when I put it in, it automatically closed the breech block and it's ready to fire. That's how the actual gun works. Once you slide it in, it hits these little, uh, these little sensors, I guess, on the inside of the gun and it will automatically just close the breech block, and so now we could fire it right away by hitting this little red button here on the pitch wheel, and it would uh, fire the gun, but first we're going to talk about this is the pitch wheel, pretty simple, it just moves it up and down, this is the yaw control, side to side, and uh, so we'll, we'll just take aim at whatever, we're not really going to shoot, try and hit anything in this video, so we'll just go ahead and show you it firing. And there you go. Wait for it to hit, and there it is. And here's our shell that was e or shell casing that was ejected out. As you can see, it's just already spent. Not really any use for that. You can just chuck it aside, delete it, remove it, whatever you want to do with that. It's just there for show. Once again, trying to be as accurate as possible as to how the actual gun works. And after firing, it automatically opens up. Uh, if you if you want to like see the actual mechanisms of the gun in much more detail, you can uh, go into your console and you can type in uh, I believe it's host underscore timescale, and then like 
0.1 would be like a tenth of the normal speed, if you're on single player that is, and you can control these things. And you can uh, just hit the trigger, and you'll see everything in very slow motion. You can watch the gun barrel slide back on this little recoil slider here, and eject the shell, and you'll see the projectile speed out of the barrel really, really quickly, and head off to its target. And it is pretty cool to watch. I was thinking of making a video to show you, but I think you can do it on your own. Anyways, so I hope you guys have fun messing around with this. Uh, I know it's not that complex, but I just wanted to make sure everything was crystal clear, because it is different than my previous map's GM artillery, which I was surprised to see got so many downloads, so I'm hoping that this can provide some people with, uh, if not better, just as much fun. So... Uh, go crazy, shoot whatever you want, and have some fun. See you later, and thanks for watching.